oh, my signature dance move? I have a couple, I have like a couple where I like bounce up and down, I'm like going from side to side. And then I also have like, and this one too. Hi, I'm Kiki Palmer hanging out with Elle, and we're gonna play a game of knowing me, knowing you, with my cast members from Lightyear. Okay, I think a lot of people don't realize how many skills that Chris Evans has in his bag, so I think I'm gonna go with him being a skilled tap dancer. It was cool to meet Chris Evans. Yeah, I'm a fan of, he did this movie called Snowpiercer that, you know, it's kinda like underground. I mean, people know it, but it's like, you know, if you know, you know kind of vibe. Most people know him as Captain America, which uh, hats off to him for that too. Uh, but it was fun to actually meet him at the premiere because during the creation of Lightyear, we didn't get to meet each other at all. Cool guy. A good skill of mine, which might be or might not be sanitary, is I can pick up a lot of things with my feet. I have huge feet, very balanced to only be 5'6". Why did I have to be a size 10? I make anything work. When I saw my action figure, I just kind of was shook and just blown away because it's like really cool to see a, a character or a toy that is you know, kind of created after me. Uh, it just was really awesome to be able to hand that to my nieces and my nephew. I'll be honest, I didn't play with a lot of action figures as a kid growing up. I mean, every now and then I had me like a little Barbie doll or a little Bratz doll, but I just, I, I couldn't get into, it's crazy because I love acting and I love telling stories, but I couldn't get into them talking to themselves. Like for me, that was just like, I wanted them to turn into life. I think actually Toy Story ruined me because I'm like, I need y'all to talk for real. Because they didn't, I was kind of like, goodbye. Who has a Grammy? Is it Taika? Does Taika have a Grammy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, growing up, I was obsessed with like Brandy, Mariah Carey, uh, Jennifer Lopez, TLC. My most memorable encounter would probably be when I met Brandy and she gave me a journal. I actually wrote in that journal from the time that she gave it to me when I was like 12 up until like there were no more pages. Like I think I finished it when I was like 14, but like I kept journals after that. You know, journaling was something that continues to be like a moment of like peace, refuge, and just expression for me. I might eat it on this one. You know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and say Tyka. James Brolin, what are you doing doing that? I'm shocked. Now that really was a doozy. Okay, James. Okay, a trained figure skater and a classical singer. The only person I know in my cast that, that sings is Uzo. Yeah, knew it. Hmm, my biggest distraction is probably like either my phone or TV. Cause with TV and with phones, you just keep going and going and going and going. Like, you know what I mean? You can't stop. Like once I get a good show, I'm like binging it to the show is done. Like my family and friends always make fun of me. Cause it's like, you just started watching that show yesterday. How did you finish it? And it's like, I just eat it up in two seconds. I feel that I know this. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it though. I think that might be Diaz played by Efren Ramirez. My celebrity twin, I know, I, I'm just saying this because everybody else tells me Angela Bassett. I've been compared to Angela all my life since I was a kid. She played my mom in Aquila and the Bee, and after that, everybody's like, oh my gosh, girl, is Angela Bassett your mama? And so I've always heard that, and I think Angela Bassett's really beautiful, so, you know, hey. Who admitted to having three different personalities as a child? Was it me? Kiki Palmer? Yeah, I knew it. I'm a little wah. I used to have Mika, Lika, and Kika, like Kiki, Mika, Lika, Dika. Like I forget exactly, but it was like, I don't know. I think it was again, the beginning of me being who we see today, playing all these different characters. I just always had different aspects of my personality that I wanted to dip into. I didn't want to exist in them all the time, but every now and then I want to be able to just like, be that kind of person. And as a kid, I think I was really aware that they were like different gears. So now they're just like all the different characters I play. <laughs> A tattoo of the dog's name on their chest. Man, I don't know. Who knew? Chris didn't seem like he had tattoos to me. I just didn't imagine. He just seems like he probably wouldn't have any tattoos. So I'm surprised that he has a tattoo of his dog's name. I have quite a few tattoos. I have a really big piece on the side of, uh, on the right side of my body, which is like flowers and vines and butterflies and stuff like that. And then I have a couple of like little written things like on both sides of my wrist, one on my forearm, one on my foot, on my ankle, behind my ear, on my neck, bottom of my back, under my butt cheek, under my boob. <laughs> quite a lot of tattoos. I made history as the youngest ever talk show host. Okay, you know it's your girl. I've been blessed, I think, to have quite a few 
at different times in my life. Being in Light Years, big pinch me moment, and so is doing Nope with Jordan Peele. Like I really, 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 really want to work with Jordan Peele. Again, I worked with him once when I did Key and Peele, and I wanted to work with him again when I seen, you know, that he was a writer and director, and I really became a fan of his work in that regard. Working on that set, working with Daniel as well was very much so like, I was pinching myself so much, I'm bruised. Oh man, you know what I love about working with Daniel is Daniel is just a very gracious actor. He's a very, um, you know, he's very patient. There's never anything that could really go weird or awry um, because of his temperament. And so he really makes you feel safe, I think you'd say. Oh, fans usually shout to me like, true, or you know, um, I'm the new BB, or they'll say like, Kayla, you know, or they'll take it way back and they'll say, little girl, stop popping that gum from Medea's family reunion. You know, they've kind of grown up with me or I've grown up with them and that there's so many different moments that they can pinpoint when they first met me or when they became familiar with me and it just makes me really excited and just, I feel, um, brings back good memories, you know? Thanks so much for watching and make sure you go see Lightyear.